and welcome back to Keep Moving Uncut. I'm Dr. Tiffany Hunter and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and Keep Moving Uncut is a channel all about keeping you healthy, moving, active, strong, pain-free, and it's uncut because I do not do any editing. So please forgive me if there's a few mistakes here or there as we go along. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the shoulder joint and I'm gonna show you some exercises you can do in the comfort of your own home if you cannot get out of your home. And um, you can do them sitting down or standing up. So I'm gonna show you a little bit over here. This is your shoulder joint. And a lot of times when you have an injury, you're injuring one of these muscles, your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major, um, you're usually, going to injure one of those if the doctor is telling you you have a rotator cuff injury or if sometimes you have an injury playing a sport like baseball um, even if you're a pitcher but um, today we're going to do some exercises that are helpful when you're recovering from an injury if you're recovering from a surgery like a rotator cuff surgery if you're recovering from a um, frozen shoulder all types of things and as we're going through those, if you feel like you know someone that may benefit from these, please do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, and please share it with someone else that um, needs to do these exercises. So I'm gonna do them sitting today. And you can do them sitting or standing. I'm gonna use a stick like this. I'm gonna ask you to take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and grab a cane. So if you can use a cane or anything that doesn't bend, that would be perfect. Even a piece of a PVC pipe would be helpful. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna do them sitting. I want you to think about your posture the whole time you're going through these. So keep your posture upright, your shoulders back so you're in good alignment the whole time that you're doing these. We're gonna do a full session of doing several exercises so that if you do all of these along with me, when you're finished, you have completed your exercises. Okay, so without further ado, the first one you're gonna do is um, shoulder flexion. And I do wanna let you know that the reason I'm using a pole or a stick or a cane to do these with is because sometimes your arm isn't strong enough to do the exercise movements by itself when you just have had an injury. So when you're doing them with something in your hand, you can use that other hand to kind of help assist with the motions. And so we call these active assistive exercises because you're not fully doing them only with that arm. Okay, we're gonna first raise this up above your head and you're gonna hold it four seconds. Every exercise that we do today, we're gonna hold each repetition about four seconds, but I do want you to know that if you can't bring it as high as I'm bringing it and you can only bring it here, that's fine, hold it there. If you could only bring it here, hold it there, but do whatever you can do within your limits. Again, this is number two, hold it, two, three, four, and down. Three, two, three, four, and down. Four, two, three, four, and down. Five, two, three, four, and down. Six, two, three, four, and down. Seven, two, three, four, and down. Eight, and down. Nine, and down. One more time, all the way up. And down. I want you to do two sets of each of these exercises. So that was the first set of 10. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, slowly through your mouth. Another deep breath through your nose. Exhale, slowly through your mouth. Now, I'm gonna always remind you to take deep breaths or to breathe because a lot of times if you see people exercising, they hold their breath or they do not breathe properly. So sometimes when you're exercising, stop, take a deep breath and make sure you're breathing correctly. Let's do 10 more, all the way up. And down. Again. 
and down. Three. And down. Four. And down. Five. If you need to stop and rest as you're doing any of these exercises, stop and rest and join back in and keep going. Don't feel like you need to give up. You can do it. You can make it through. Stop and rest. And even if you can't get through with two sets of each of these exercises, just start off with doing one set of each exercise. That'll be better than not doing anything at all. So just do the best you can do as you're going through them. And let's do two more of these. Up again as far as you can. And bring it down. For the sake of um, having an injury on one side and me demonstrating that to you today, I'm gonna pretend my injury would be on the left shoulder. So whatever shoulder yours is on, you're gonna put your hand at the end of your stick for your next movement and hold on to your stick with the other hand, keep your elbow straight, and you're going to push your arm out to the side as far as you can, and you're gonna hold it four seconds. Now again, if it was my left shoulder that was injured, then this is the one I'd be taking out to the side, and then I'll bring it back down and help. This will be the relax mode. So this again, the right hand will be on the stick. You're gonna push it up and hold as far as you can. If not there, then right there, wherever that arm will go, hold it for four seconds, bring it back down to your resting position. Same thing again, bring it up as far as you can, hold it for four seconds, bring it back down to your resting position. And again, this arm on the opposite side is assisting that arm because you're not doing all the work with that side that's injured or the side that's recovering. So you're gonna use that stick, use the other arm to push it up there, hold it up in position, bring it back down, let it rest. Same thing again, push it up there, hold it up, and it should be very comfortable. Bring it to a tolerable position. Don't overstretch it. If it's very painful, you're going too far. Again. And down. Let's do two more of those. All the way up. And down. Again. Excellent, do not forget to stop and take your deep breath. In through your nose and exhale slowly through your mouth. Now, take a minute and rest, do another set of 10 of those. So again, each exercise you're doing two sets of 10, so you're doing each one about 20 times. Um, if you didn't stop, then keep going through where I'm talking now and um, go make sure you're getting them all in. Now the next thing I'm going to show you looks like this. Again, keeping in mind if I'm recovering from a left shoulder injury, this would be what I would do. I'm going to put my left hand here. I'm going to keep both of my elbows glued against the side of my body. So I don't want your elbows flaring out here. I want to keep them glued in. And you're going to push with the other arm and rotate out and then come back in, which is your resting position. When you're rotating out, you're just moving that shoulder joint in and out but you're again only going to your point where it's comfortable. If it feels too uncomfortable, you're not gonna um, push it out there or force it out there. You're gonna keep it in a comfortable position. So again, we're gonna push out and hold. One, two, three, four, relax. Again, and out. One, two, three, four, and relax. Again, three, two, three, four, and rest. Push out, four, two, three, four, and relax. Again, five, two, three, four, and relax. Six, two, three, four, and rest. Seven, two, three, four, and relax. Eight, two, three, four, and relax. 
two more. Nine, two, three, four. Relax. And 10, two, three, four. Relax, take a deep breath. Exhale. Very good. So again, once you're finished resting, you're gonna go through and do 10 more of those. So going back and forth right now, even while I'm talking, if you wanna continue and do 10 more of those, again, that is a, called an external rotation of the shoulder joint. So you're rotating that shoulder out and coming back to your resting position each time. You're keeping your elbows against your sides. You don't want to be pushing your arm out here when you're doing that. You just want to rotate out and back in. Excellent. So I'm going to show you another one that we're going to do. This time, instead of uh, bringing your shoulders forward into flexion, we're going to bring them back into extension. So it looks a little bit like this. You're going to put your stick behind you. I want you to keep your elbows straight. Try not to bend your elbows. Try to keep them straight as possible. Lift up and hold four seconds. One, two, three, four, and relax back down. Again, two, two, three, four, relax. Three, two, three, four, relax. Remember, if you're sitting in your chair, you can still do these sitting down as long as you're not bending your arms. You can still do them up to three, four, and relax. Bring it out, two, three, four, and rest. Remember you're holding each repetition four seconds. One, two, three, four, and relax. Back, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one more time, back, two, three, four, relax, take your deep breaths in through your nose, exhale out through your mouth, perfect. Now, Again, go ahead and do your second set of those. You're gonna do 10 more, so that way you'll have a total of 20 repetitions. You're gonna hold each one four seconds. So each repetition, hold it four seconds, and we're doing each one two sets, so two sets of 10. It's good to stop, take a minute, and rest in between. If you feel like you don't need it, then go ahead and do 20 straight through. There's one more that I'm gonna show you that's gonna be beneficial. This one is similar to if you're scratching your back or if you're washing your back, if you're putting something in your back pocket and the motion looks like this, you're gonna have your elbows straight. You're gonna bend your elbows up, hold it for a second, then come back straight. Again, bend your elbows, hold it, two, three, four, and come back down. Same thing with this one. If you feel like when you're doing this one, it's too uncomfortable, just go half the distance. You don't have to bring it up that high. You can just come here. That's still doing the exercises. And what you'll notice is that you'll be able to come a little bit further each time you do them or the next time you do them. I would recommend that you do these once a day. So if you're recovering from a shoulder injury and you need to um, have a regimen where you're actually exercising and doing strengthening exercises and not just um, static stretching where you're holding a stretch, you can do these once a day. Um, and then after that, you can increase it and you can do some other things where you're using maybe a one pound weight in your hand. Once you get to the point where you're doing the exercises um, without using a stick, do them without anything at all, then progress to using a one pound weight or even a can good or something like that. If you don't have weights, you don't have to feel like that's something you need to get and down. But the main thing is, as you're doing these, stay within your tolerable comfort zone. Whichever exercise you're doing, it should not be uncomfortable or painful. Hold each one for four repetitions. And relax. Take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose. And exhale. So again, let's review. The first exercise you did was just straight up. Held it for seconds and straight down. That was the very first exercise that you did. The next one, whichever shoulder is affected, you're gonna put your hand at the end, push up and out to the side as far as you can, 
hold it for a second and bring it back down. Just like that, whatever um, you're doing, stay within your comfort zone. The next exercise, keep your elbows by your side and push out, hold that for four seconds. The next one, you're gonna put that stick or that cane behind you, keep your elbows extended, bring them back. And the last one that we just did, you're gonna come up. All right, so those are some exercises you can do. Watch it again, share it with someone else that's in their home that needs to work on those shoulders. Let them know what they can do. If you have any questions, please comment. Please do not forget, like it, share it, subscribe to it. And again, just keep moving. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.